the most important project which Madam Chair, the, the Honourables should look at, and indeed they should look at because they are the people who approved this Chinese loan of $200 million. So we shall take you there, Honourables, and you see what you approved, whether it is being properly applied or not. The bombardiers are already packed there. Some people thought they had already flown, you have seen, from here you tell them. And the aprons and the runways, everything is moving on well. Only that we told uh, CA the issue of quality of services. And as a committee, we are going to come back for detailed uh, inspection. But so far what we have seen, we are fairly convinced. Uganda Airlines, at long last, is going to start the commercial flights. This has been a question from the media almost every week. And now you are going to see, those of you who we are not believing, all of you who are naysayers, you are going to see that what government plans and government is serious. And that government will always deliver on the projects that government has valued, has prioritized to see that uh, we improve the economy. So we are starting the commercial airlines, the commercial flights on the 28th, and there will be an inauguration, a launch on the 27th, and I'm encouraging all of you and all the Ugandans to support, to love the country and support the airline. The team at the National Airline are doing a great job. And I also note that when they announced the first, uh, the costs that are going to run, even we had other airlines cutting their prices, which, which they are fares, which is very good for Uganda and for the whole region. So it really actually talks to us saying that when we bring in our home-based airline, we will be competitive as 